If you can get the king to visit your bedchamber on the first evening, you'll be perceived as a great success. I was very moved and touched by the, the script. And, and being a period drama or a historical drama, I found that even more uh, impressing that, that a, a script from, from that period could touch me. It's, it's not easy. Uh, so that was the reason I said, let's, let's do it. This is, this is beautiful. First of all, I'm, I'm Swedish, not Danish, but I knew about this quite remarkable story or event that happened in Denmark because one of my favorite books uh, is actually based on that event. And um, I do find it interesting. I know a lot of people actually have read the script before, like on, on an early stage that they were quite, you know, they quite didn't believe that it actually happened because it's a good combination between a very good strong love story and then the political side of it. Well, I mean, these days are long gone and we tend to take things for granted when, uh, when there's 240 years has passed. But it's important to dig down and see what kind of people we were 240 years ago for our own uh, identity feeling, to, to figure out, well, what happened? Who are we? Uh, and uh, so, yeah, it's, it's, it's crown jewels of, of Danish history and, and I think it's been a, amazing that nobody has told this story before, but, but now we do. When you do a um, film that, an about event that happened 300 years ago, you want people to relate to what's going on between the characters. And I mean, it's really about idealists who try to be free and to be able to express themselves and their ideas and thoughts. And that struggle is still a very, you know, up to date in our world. So, I'm preparing this basically with the director and with the script. This is what we're going to do. But, but uh, these people being real people who used to live once a long time ago, we did have materials. We had books. We had stories. We had we had ideas and, and diaries that that would help us out. But we also had to be a little. Uh, skeptical with, with that because it's it's other people who wrote it and they had an agenda for read, uh, for writing it so we were not 100% sure that what they were tell, telling was the truth. What I do like is that usually in a triangle drama there's someone leaving someone for another one and what I do like is that they kind of depend on each other all three of them and they have to and they even at some point they when they actually are the most happy, they they're this triangle that you know is together, and they're almost they almost become this whole family on a point on a, in a stage. Yeah. I prefer both. Uh, yeah, as long as I don't have to make a choice, I'm a happy man. Yeah, I mean, uh, I think uh, it's not that different. Uh, I think we we all inspired by the same base of filmmaking.